Hi guys, welcome to another day of testing. Today we're going to be testing our float lines. I've made up a few samples where we've spliced and or knotted and uh, we're going to see what breaks and how it breaks and how strong these lines are. We have our lines custom made to our spec in terms of stiffness and tightness of weave. This makes it easier to tow, less twisting. If you go for a really soft line, it can unravel itself. So um, not so easy to use. Strength should be pretty much the same. The problem is not all four millimeters are four millimeters. We buy this per color per ton to get the price right. And uh, our four millimeter greeny brown is probably half a mil smaller than the orange. So we're gonna test both types, the both colors, plus the cheaper version that we don't manufacture. We, we see this in the market. First of all, we're gonna test its knot strength, which is set up now on the load tester. Then we'll compare it to the splice. Here we go. Knots are pulling up tight. They should lock. Normally a knot is far weaker than that of a splice. A lot of stretch as the knots lock up. Stretch is not a problem when you're using it as a float line. Hope we're going to have enough stroke. That's maxed out the stroke of the machine. Let's see how we can shorten it. So this cheaper hardware store line, I think they use it mainly for washing lines, is actually pretty good. A lot of stretch in it, as you can see how long it got. It elongated the knots quite a lot. It is starting to stretch and would probably have compacted here and broken out. Um, the only problem with it is it unravels quite easily. And uh, if you get a bit of twisting, you end up with this problem and it's, it shouldn't break, but you're going to have these funny little twists all over the place. So that was fairly good. We'll try the same again, but now with the spliced ends. We won't get as much stretch. This should give us some true actual break strain. I'm expecting at about 110, 120 kgs. Okay, so we're using the same hardware store available line. This time, the ends are spliced. We've got quite a long splice, at least five loops inside itself. That should be more than adequate. We should have a break on the main line, not on the looped ends. A lot less slippage for obvious reasons. It's breaking free, just stressing itself. It's surprisingly strong. Just keeps elongating. So, quite impressive. Does work. But I don't like the softness and the likelihood of it twisting up and unraveling. As you can see, that's very stressed now. All the loops. All the strands are very unwoven. Okay, we'll switch over to what we have manufactured to our spec. 
Okay, now we're gonna test our orange, slightly stiffer formal. Knots first. Knots all tensioning up. That's about maximum. I'm just going to back off and take out some of the shackles. Okay, we've shortened the chain link of shackles. We had it up to 97. Let's get back up there. Still slipping in the knots, slowly stretching itself out. Doing pretty much the same, just slowly elongating everything. I'm going to stop it there. So again, a lot of stretch, but not as easy to unravel. Still holding reasonably tight stiffness, but as you can see, it's probably a 20% thinner than it was. Now we'll try the spliced version. There you go, I've got it in. A little bit of tension, so we're already starting at one kilo. Let's see where this goes. Way less movement, for obvious reasons. to fail around 130. Here we go. There it stretched and broke. So as brake strain grows, that's more than adequate. Your shooting line mono two millimeter with a crimp is between 100, 110 kg. So this is your next weak link if you're using a polyethylene line. What we're going to try now is the slightly thicker green version of the same stuff. In theory, it should be slightly stronger. I'm not going to do the knot version of it. We know it pretty much holds as good as. It's just a bit of a bump on the end of your line. Uh, splicing is obviously a lot easier. Doesn't hook on as much stuff. Let's break that one. Okay, yeah, we go with the green one. Although it says formal on the supplier's containers, feels a little heavier. Let's see what that goes at. As we thought, slightly stronger. and then she starts to elongate. And there she breaks. Well, there you guys have seen how strong these polyethylene lines are and uh, not bad at all as a float line, provided you get them reasonably stiff, much less likely to unravel. Hope you enjoyed that video. Watch for the next one.